What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about the number one weirdest Norwegian commercials. <laughs> I am excited for this one. Uh, I mean, in America, American TV, we've had our fair share of weird TV commercials, but uh, kind of like what I'm looking at here, it usually seems to be older commercials that were made a long time ago, right? This looks like a vintage commercial already, the picture I'm looking at here. But uh, America certainly has had its fair share of weird commercials, but I'm, inter I'm interested to see what Norway considers to be <laughs> weird commercials. I assume at one point or another these all actually aired on television. Maybe some of these are famous or well-known. I don't know. I've never seen any of these before. I've never seen a Norwegian commercial before, ever. So this will be a first. But I am... <laughs> I'm, I'm quite excited for this one. So let's take a look. Are you also utsatt for stress? Ikke for tvil deg. Ta en ti strudels. Nå med enda mer Doodle C2000, <laughs> som lindrer slitasje og stress. I'm sorry, this is a... <laughs> this is a cheese doodle uh, commercial? And this, this kid looks... He doesn't look stressed so much as he looks scared. <laughs> and like he doesn't know what's going on. Ta en ti strudels. What? Nå med enda mer Doodle C2000. Okay. Som lindrer slitasje og stress i deg og din body. Wait, the, the cheese doodle is going to lower your stress? That's, that's what we're saying here? Okay. Hey, look. <laughs> cheese. Look, he, he's so happy. <laughs> he's so happy now. Okay. Maybe it works. Doodles. Doodle your way into chillness. Wait, why did the narrator speak English there after speaking Norwegian? What? How does that work? Cheese doodle. Hey. Yes. E day. Og din body. Huh. Doodles. I just had to check. I was like. Has he been speaking English the whole time? And it's like, no, he was speaking Norwegian. And then at the end, he spoke English. Is that normal in Norway to combine the languages like that? That caught me off guard. <laughs> More than anything. More than the cheese doodles. Anyway. Doodle your way into chillness. Okay. Liver paste. Not liver paste again. I was hoping to never see liver paste ever again. I didn't want to know it even existed. It takes a little longer time, but the liver is extra soft and good. But in addition to doing it on the good old way, have we made a new lock that holds the stone first? I mean, so far this isn't that weird. It's just, to an American, this would be really weird just because we don't have liver paste. <laughs> I never want liver paste. It sounds kind of disgusting because we don't eat animal organs. But as far as the commercial, I wouldn't say this is too weird. Det er så bra at jeg bare må... Mils omspakt lev på steg. Nytt lokk holder på steg fersk. That could not have come at a better time. <laughs> I, I literally said the commercial just seemed pretty normal, and then the guy starts dancing to techno. Okay. Nils omspakt lev på steg. Nytt lokk holder på steg fersk. Okay. Mm, that's fun. I mean, that's fun. I don't. I don't dislike it. I like silly commercials. I actually. <laughs> it was a little. It was a little cheesy, but overall, I don't mind it. Gjennom århundrene har luftfotværingene overlevd under alle slags forhold, bare ved hjelp av torsk. Hva er hemmeligheten? Det viser seg nå at uh, torsken er faktisk... This is funny because in America they would never allow like raw fish to be shown like that, if that makes sense. America is very sensitive to showing dead animals, 
So we would never even allow all that dead fish to be part of the commercial. That stuck out to me more than anything. Okay. <laughs> this is good. This is actually good commercial. Men torsken kan også hjælpe til når smerten er på insia. Det er jo bare det at jeg ikke elsker den længere. Oh. Så jeg har. A card. Hold i torsken. <laughs> torsken. Du er jo en veldig god gutt, du, Olav. Så det kommer nok en annen måte da <laughs> The card. The fish just makes everything okay. You know, if cod and fish were popular in America at all, this would actually be a this would be a good commercial for like the Super Bowl or something. This is a good commercial. Oh, give him a fish. The Toshkin. <laughs> <laughs> He's completely accepted. <laughs> this, uh, whoever made this, this was well done, well written. The jokes are actually funny. Ja, Lofotværingen kjenner til alle feskens hemmeligheter. Da vi i Tine skulle finne en passende talsperson for Tinemelk, startet vi med en gjennomsnittsnormann. En sterk enn da, selvfølgelig. Ja, det, det var kanskje litt i overkant. Ja. Sånn ja. Ja. Eh, og så må han være intelligent. Ja, eller, eller kjekk. Og macho. Ja, som en sånn viking. Utfare trang og eventyrlyst. Ah. Men... This kind of reminds me of like a Geico commercial or something. I don't know if you have Geico commercials in Norway, but they do silly, very visual stuff like this. So this almost feels like an American commercial to me. Velstelt. <laughs> ja, ja, ok. Men, men da må man ha sånn tøff Hollywood-stemme. Yes. Hello, everybody. Ja, men må vi snakke norsk? There, there he is speaking English again. Is that common in Norwegian TV and commercials for people just to randomly start speaking English? Is that? I did not expect that. Yes. Hello, everybody. Om du må vi snakke norsk? Hallo, eller sammen. Hallo. Da trenger vi bare litt norsk natur. Ja, kjør på. Det er smart å leve sunt. Tine melk er naturlig rik på kjempebra protein som bidrar til å styrke og fun... You know, milk, there were a lot of milk commercials in America, like, 20, 30 years ago, but not anymore. Are milk commercials, like, healthy, promoting health, really common in Norway as well? Because this was a thing in America at one time. I just remembered, we, we used to have milk commercials. But as for this commercial just being a funny, weird commercial, this is actually pretty good. This would be like shown in America. This is good enough. Nye musklene. Smaker godt. <laughs> Og så kaller vi han Mr. Mr. Melk. Ja. <laughs> Og så lar vi han være født med ski på beina. Åh, oh, det er perfekt. Mr. Milk. Skiing. It wouldn't be a Norwegian commercial without skiing. <laughs> Okay. What does that mean? Milk stri striker kropen? Does that mean like drink your milk, it's good for you or something? <laughs> milk striker kropen. Oh, he's gonna eat it. What's this? Speaking English again. <laughs> okay. Does he like the chips? <laughs> yeah. What's this? <laughs> okay. This is kind of funny, but almost a little too slow. It would probably lose American audiences' attention 
just because we need everything really quick and really fast or else we have a short attention span. But I appreciate the comedy here. I do. Smash. Smash. Those look good. What are those? Are they covered in chocolate? They look like bugles. If you uh, <laughs> know what bugles are. Cone-shaped chips. These actually look pretty good. It's impossible to have just one. Why the English again? Huh. Kumelo, do it. <laughs> yeah! Hallo, hello, salmon. Right. Mr. Oh, muskel of this stark bay, I truly know what you can do. Isn't this the milk guy? <laughs> Isn't this the the handsome milk guy again? Du må være aktiv og så spise og drikke sødt. I like this. Tina milk er naturlig kilde på protein og kalsium som bidrar til å styrke og bygge din kropp. I actually like this. If this was like a major milk campaign in Norway, I actually like this one. Smaker got. <laughs> and naturally clyde till proteiner, vitamin or og mineral. So it has protein, vitamins and minerals in it. Okay. So it is like a healthy milk thing message. Is this a brand of milk or is it just saying drink milk to be healthy? Is it a public service announcement? I don't know. Hello, Fergie. Skavi time dance. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Må komme. Oh. Oh. I like this. Oh, smash. <laughs> I like this. Good special effects, too. What? Oh. They're 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 dipping everything in the chocolate wall or is this for those smash chips again that are dipped in chocolate? Uh, nice. Yes, there they are. <laughs> these smash chips are these popular in Norway? They look good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh, a smash bar. Oh. Up, up, up. <laughs> up, up, up. <laughs> oh, this would never, this would never be shown in, a, in America, ever. You cannot make any references to sex or stuff like this. Leather. <laughs> I like this. This is like, I think this is funny. I wish America would take more risks and be more open to... Funny adult humor like this. Okay, yeah, this would never be shown in America. Is this common in Norway where it's just accepted these adult themed commercials? I feel like America needs to start leaning in that direction more. We're very uptight about sex and topics like this. <laughs> oh, smash my head. <laughs> Okay. The this smash. bar. Up, up, up. The smash bar. I okay, that's it. That is the end. That was by Marcusaw. I liked that. I enjoyed that a lot. That, I mean, that just gave me a look into Norwegian culture and commercials, you know, for the first time ever. And uh, I know this was a compilation of weird commercials. Most, most of them were just funny. They were all just funny. I didn't think they were that weird. More as clearly, like, meant to be comedy, which I really like. Most commercials in America that are well received are comedy. So I think Norway is kind of similar in that regard, but it has to be the most tame comedy ever. No, no adult comedy at all. But 
As far as these commercials go, I, I like these. I understood all of the humor, I think. <laughs> and I really, I really want uh, some Smash chips now. I didn't understand at times when they were speaking English. Uh, is Norway that bilingual? That English is just randomly in the commercials and stuff? Like, the, the narrator for the Smash chips was talking in English at one time. And the funny milk guy. <laughs> I, I liked these actually. These were me these were all pretty memorable. Are these uh are these well known in Norway? Like all these commercials, or is this obscure? And uh, are these from a long time ago or modern? I have a few questions about these commercials and what the Norwegian people think of them. But uh, seems like Norway has a good sense of humor about stuff, which is really really great to see. Uh, yeah. Same with America, but, mm. so I did understand a lot of this and enjoyed it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, things like this, stuff I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.